Hi guys, Dave Dog here. We're back for our latest episode of Bradford Park Avenue Road to Glory in the Vanarama National League North. Today we are away to Blythe and let's see how we've been doing since you were last with us. We went away to newly promoted Gainsborough, doing the best of the promoted teams just above us in the league and a fortunate nil-nil draw. Five shots, nothing on target, 0.24 xG. We were totally useless, created nothing, 61% possession. They had 17 shots, five on target, 1.15. They really should have won. And it was only the efforts of McCauley in goal, our man of the match at 7.5, that stopped us being defeated in this one. Sams and Ferguson also played well, fielding 6.8. So defensively, we weren't bad, but creatively, nothing. Truman's back in the number 10, but he's not playing as well as he could have done. The only plus was the return of Fred and Goy. Came on off the bench with a 6.9. Even he couldn't get us going. So we got a point, although a disappointing point against a team we should be beating. Next game was at home to Scarborough. They were top of the league at the time. A 2-0 defeat. 33rd minute Walker. And just after half-time, Duggan Ward made it 2-0. We had some chances, but they were totally the better team. Even though we beat them on the XG, there was nothing much in the game. Two good finishes by their players. Again, we're having problems up front. 6.2 for Stead. And Goy came on. Again, he's not quite fit enough to play a full game. 6.5. You'll see our new signing on the bench there. Didn't get on. Sam Parker's come in from Halifax on loan. He's a centre-back. We've strengthened in that position. Again, defensively not too bad. Timofeyev 6.4 and McCauley 6.4. Sams and Ferguson playing well again in this one and fielding 6.8. Next game was away to Starbridge and not creating a great deal again. We went down 2-1. Tavares had one chalked off in 22 minutes. Disallowed for offside. Denson put us in front just before half time and then Allen after 57 and the kick in the teeth just as I thought it was going to be a draw. Fourth minute of added time they scored the winner. We probably deserved a draw but that's the way it's going at the moment. We went down 2-1. Parker making his debut didn't do too well at 6.5. Then we were at home to Gloucester. Another point. Pretty even game. Six shots on target for us. Four for them. And the XG 0.81 and 0.74. Possession. This system is giving us possession. But we're not creating a great deal. Even though Truman did create a goal for Stead. We equalised their opening goal in added time. Second minute of injury time. And we got back for, for the previous goal that we conceded. Although only a point, not a win. So Stead comes on, gets the man of the match. Gets the goal at the end and gets an 8. So he's the man of the match. Two pivots, Williams and Tuffy. Not playing well in this game either. So, and Goy starting, he's not back up to speed as yet, 6.4. It's a case of what might have been. If we can get the players fully fit, we may have quite a team here. So then we went to Peterborough Sports. We were favourites for this game, but we came off worse to goal in added time. 45 plus 2 was the only goal of the game, although we had the better chances. We had the possession again, but Stead, 5.9. The forwards are just not playing well. Truman another good game and Goy not up to standard 6.5 defensively though Sams Harding put back in to the centre back position Parker dropped to the bench Ferguson's quite reliable now after his up and downs when he previously came in this run in the team is certainly doing his confidence well not many goals in it but we couldn't score and another defeat next game home to Spennymore we got back on track a 1-0 win we seem to have the better of Spennymore recently. We changed the formation, went back to our old 4-1-3-2, although Ngoy on the right playing more advanced. 6.7, a better performance from him. You can see from the goal, after 48 minutes, beginning of the second half, assist by McCauley, a long ball. Stead got on the end of it and finished well. Stead, 7.9. Truman playing up front, not so good, but providing... The spark that Stead needed, he got the man of the match. And good performances all round. McCauley 7.8, mainly due to that assist. Parker came on a sub and did well also. Better with this formation and a welcome three points. Reduced the number of shots on target for Spennymore. Only one shot on target, four for us. We still had the possession at 65%. We were back on track, changed the tactic and it worked. And the last game we played was the FA Cup. Radcliffe 
at home. Slight change in the formation, more forwards, 4-1-1-4, we'll see that in a minute, but 4-2, Will Truman open the scoring on 7 minutes, Alex Williams playing in a more forward role, a hat-trick, and did he enjoy it? So it's 3-0 at half-time, just at half-time, a penalty from Williams to complete his hat-trick. The crowd is uh, a bit baffling, 1,091 for a game against Radcliffe. Radcliffe brought 223, but so over 800 for, from us. A four up front for this one. We certainly scored goals, but we did concede as well. Colley not playing as well in this one. Although the Sam's hard in partnership in centre defence is working. 6.7 a standard from Ferguson. A Dunstan in at right back. Williams, of course, the man of the match with a hat-trick, 9.6. Playing slightly further forward in a more attacking role. That, that certainly seemed to suit. And Goy is back in form. And Truman playing well up front. So we're going to continue with this in today's game. Maybe not the four forwards. We'll probably play the game like we did against Spennymore. Good performance here. 2.36 XG and four welcome goals. Sees us into the next round of the FA Cup. Where we will play Hensford away. So another team from outside the National League. Where are they? They're in Northern Premier League. A good chance of getting into the fourth round. We probably need a first round FA Cup tie to get some money in. So today we're playing Blythe. Blythe are just above us in 16th. We are 19th in the table. 9 points from 10 games. 1 point above the drop zone. So on to today's game. Let's see how we're lining up. Hopefully we can get another win on the board but it's going to be more difficult in this one we've gone cautious in the mentality back to the 4-1-3-2 in goal of course Tom McCauley a Dunstan at right back central defensive partnership of Sams and Harding and our ever reliable now Ferguson at left full back we've made a change bringing Fielding back in for Giabi as the deep line playmaker Williams, after his great hat-trick in the cup game, continues as a Mazala in front of him. On the left, Harry Lovick, skipper, inverted winger, show a good link up there with Ferguson. And Goy, let's hope he can keep his good form going, he's on the right side. And our two forwards, Stead and Truman, who've also played well recently. On the bench then, we've got the two Long players, Sam Parker and Tim Ofeyevs. Tom Chiabi has dropped to the bench along with Jason Tuffy and Michael Jacobs. Returns on the bench. He's only fit for 45 minutes of action after getting that bad injury in pre-season. So into the game then against Blythe. Blythe lining up with a 4-2-3-1. Tiofo, the danger man up front. We tried to sign him before he went to Blythe but he wouldn't have it. But he's a really good player and we're man marking him skip the formalities we're straight into the game and nothing happening so far of course Blythe are the favorites being the home team in this uh, 11 to 10 and we're pretty outsiders at 11 to 5 just over 2 to 1 uh, we've got the same recent results of the last five games two wins one draw and two losses and We've not had a shot at all yet, but we've had most of the possession. I don't know how that works out. And it's six shots, one on target for Blythe, but nothing worthy of seeing. We've got quite much of the momentum, although not much in it. And uh, it's a boring first half with no highlights. Nobody playing really well. Fielding has got seven. Harding 6.5, but he's motivated. Why is Harding showing over there? He's not playing up. He's playing as a... I've noticed this recently that players are showing wrong. He's playing as a poacher, Matt Harding. Let's have a look at that. Tactics. Why is Harding up front? What's going on here? Why have the players all changed over? I don't believe this. What's going on? Is this just showing wrong? It's totally changed. Truman at left back. Where's... Where's Ferguson playing as number 10? No wonder it was nil-nil. The game's gone mad. Right, we're back in shape again. <laughs> this is how we started off. Let's hope we can keep it that way. What are we going to say to the guys? Say motivated Williams, Harding, McCauley. And Goy's nervous, but everybody else seems okay. What's Gianluca saying? I'm proud of everyone's effort. Keep going, we can win this. Pump fist and say that. No effect at all. And let's have a word with Ngoy. Point finger... You've been unlucky so far, good effort. 
still nervous no no effect whatsoever so let's see if we can get a shot on target then and we've got a highlight right at the beginning and uh, really was that a highlight of free kicks that run straight through to the keeper I despair sometimes let's hope it's not them that's going to be scoring but uh, a kick from their keeper straight to our defence Harding puts a through ball there Truman doesn't win it it's one of those uh, who's going to win this we're playing in that yellow kit again yellow with white shorts and uh, looks strange I think yellow with white shorts we're playing it around at the back Sam's is going to do a long through ball or somebody is no we're playing it through them and Ngoy come on and Goy stop looking nervous he shoots and straight into the keeper's arms comfortable save there for their keeper and uh, I must uh, tell you just wait for this corner I've done stuff with the corner but it's headed out by their defender and Truman picks it up wide Truman with the ball to Harding Harding to Sams Sams to Fielding we're playing it around outside the box we're trying to work it into the box Sams Fielding out to Ngoy Ngoy he's going to get in can he put a decent ball in to give us a good chance it's up there stead and just wide so we're pressing forward now as I was saying the press conference before was positive that usually means you're going to win so let's hope so is a Dunstan he's attacking well down the right hand side is a Dunstan plays it inside to Williams plays it back to Fielding to Ngoy everything seems to be going through Ngoy is Fielding playing it into the box it's a bit tight but that's a foul and it's a free kick can we bring Longbottom back he used to be good at these who's taking the oh it's a penalty that was definitely outside the area that was outside the area fielding with a penalty tucks it away and we've got lucky there is the VAR in this game I don't think so at National League level and uh, fielding opens the scoring 54th minute a uh, debatable penalty we'll say and uh, I definitely thought that was outside the box and it doesn't show you that just shows you the replay of the penalty and uh, nothing much happening from them at all although they've had two shots on target we've had the better chances and we're coming again here's Ferguson throws into Stead Stead back to Ferguson crosses in and goes there and makes it 2-0 good boy Fred he's coming to the fore after that uh, injury and he's worked his way back I said he was a good player based on the pre-season friendlies uh, and that was a good cross as well from Ferguson look at that first time and Goy skips his marker and a free header over the keeper and it's 2-0 how long 65 minutes we're showing that again we know it wasn't offside and we may have got lucky with the penalty look at that I, I was thinking we were green again on this momentum so we didn't have much in the first half no wonder the players were playing all over the place let's see if we can make some changes then Harding's not so good at 6.3 no wonder he's playing up centre forward first half according to what we saw at half time we're going to bring Sam Parker on we'll just make that one change for now we're going to stay cautious and possibly see this game through at 2-0 79th minute they've got a highlight free kick and uh, headed out by Harding he's not gone off yet Ferguson getting forward there but aimless ball what was that no nonsense fullback and he's up on the halfway line breaking away probably that I'll, I'll get that ball forward then so I can get back to my position he's in there tackle but it's fallen to Barrett Barrett messing about and just over the top he gets a shot in but well over nothing to worry Macaulay and uh, we seem pretty comfortable in this game this is what happens though you change tactics and it works for five or six games and then the AI works it out and you have to think again well I hope it isn't like that I hope we stick with this and it works Stead to Truman Truman's coming into the box shoots blocked cleared away but Lovick wins that one there defender heads out but Stead picks up just in front of the referee get out of the way ref look you're trying to get in the way of our passes fielding Ferguson not lovely ball in from Ferguson Lovick oh yes what a goal that was work that onto his right foot there Lovick and what a finish that was 3-0 up away to Blythe don't get excited Dave it's uh, only one game and look at this Lovick how he opens that up plays it into the far corner he said it went in off the bar it hit the side netting beautiful shot there by skipper Lovick and we know it wasn't offside why do they keep showing these offsides Callum Stead looks like he's giving him the thing. Think should make about changes. Put Timmy Fayez on. 
what to play up front. Let's have a look then. I'm not going to make changes for the for the sake of it. Williams 6.7. No, I'm going to leave them on. Could be a mistake, but we've uh, only five minutes or so to go, and uh, they're coming back into it now. But we're into added time. Just made the one sub and a great 3-0 away win at Blythe. 1.91 xg and five shots on target to their three. Dominated possession, no yellow cards, and uh, a good performance with Fred and Goy. He may have been nervous, but he was the man of the match, 8.3. Let's see where we are in the table after that one. We're going to praise them. Outstretched arms, nice work, everyone. That was good. Everyone's looking delighted. And only had to use one sub. That's something. The players lasting out the game without getting too tired and um, we obviously haven't moved because we were four points behind but we're two points behind Spennymore now Geisley are still up in second behind on a goal scored look at that three wins in a row including the cup match scored eight conceded two that is looking a lot better see if this tactic lasts so we've got Hensford away in the cup next round Geisley away we'll come back for that one Geisley away the top in the table or second on goal scored so we're going to come back for that one 24th of october geisley away i want to thank everybody that's commented and interacted with me regarding uh, bradford park avenue history if you've got anything to say about the save please do so i'm always open to suggestions and whether i'll use them or not is another thing but uh, i've tried just about everything it's possibly don't say this too loud looking as though we might have some good players in with ingoy we've yet to see jacobs but he is experienced join me next time please like video and subscribe as i say make a comment i like to interact with people and hope to see you next time this is dave dog bye for now Ooh.